Hey there, Skrull Army. Today, we're here to talk about the new Death Harmonicon Dravenoid Carnage Dominance. You can join the Skrull Army by subscribing. So, this one's a 5 mana, 8-3. Um, and as I said, it's sort of a Death Harmonicon. Uh, if a dying ability uh, triggers... Uh, that you control on a on a permanent, you trigger that ability an additional time, and you can exile three creature cards from your graveyard to put an indestructible counter on it. All right, so that's that's pretty good, I think, because again, you can do a lot with creatures in graveyard, especially ones that you can't really recur and whatnot. So it will be just fine to uh, exile at least a few of them uh, to put indestructible counters on this when you need it. And certainly, like some people have been very uh, heavily pointing out that this goes bonkers with Conrad, um, or Sir Conrad. Um, so that's just one of those, yeah, things that uh, it's 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 a really good effect and whatnot as long as it's on the field. And you can keep it on the field pretty well. I mean, 8-3s are kind of a bit of a weird stats, actually, to be honest. It's a very sort of weird set of stats. I'd, I'd almost like it if it was a 3-8. I think that would be a, a bit better, but... Whatever, I don't know whether you're ever going to get into combat with this thing, so I don't really think that it matters. Now, again, I'm going to... I think that this could be better as the face of its own deck because black really does deal a whole lot with the death triggers and whatnot and all of that sort of stuff, aristocrats, etc. So there wouldn't... It wouldn't be like there's nothing here. There would be a lot of support here for it, but I'm always the person that never wants to do it. I know that there are people that want to do it, and uh, those people, uh, I <laughs> I say to you that maybe this isn't the best thing to have as your commander, but, hey, if that's the way you want to play, and that's the way you want to play, bro. If this is the fun you're looking for, hey, that's cool. It's not the fun that I'm looking for. Um, but even, like... Like, things that you have here and there that you think, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get double, you know, card draws off my Midnight Reaper or whatever and things like this. Those are more minor things. You're more thinking about things, perhaps, that will win you the game. But even so, those m more minor things that just help you out in that card draw section or in those other sections or whatnot of your deck that, you know, ramp you slightly or whatever, or do something else, do something of s some more minor utility, still will be really, really good with this. Um, I still think that you want the payoff more so as your commander rather than quote-unquote the enabler or the enhancer here. I guess it's kind of both. So it's, well, yeah, it is an enhancer and not really an enabler. Well, it's an enabler in the exiling thing just for Conrad, I guess, or whatnot. Or maybe that um, zombie guy that whenever you, you know, a zombie or whenever a card goes in and out of your, or out of your graveyard or whatever, um, you make a 2-2 two -two tap zombie, but that one's probably obviously a lot less powerful because, you know, it's a tap zombie, unless you've got a lot of ping triggers and whatnot and all that burn stuff, it's not going to happen as quickly as what Conrad and other cards and such are going to do. But still, yeah, this is obviously a really great card. Um, and I want to see, again, hey, guys, do you guys want to see me build a deck around this, take the challenge, and uh, try to do something with it as a commander? Um, because whenever people view these videos, I don't really know if you are actually interested in seeing a deck tech per se on this. I know you're interested in the card, um, but are you actually interested in, like, a full deck? It's it's hard to find the interest level, I think. So, it, you know, it helps me out if you guys do leave those comments saying, hey, we're very, very interested in this. Please do it. Please, please. Or whatnot. <laughs> that really helps me out. But you can always tell me what you guys think, whatever it is. Uh, if you think this is a 
stupidly good card, stupidly bad card, stupidly stupid card, um, you know, power creep, insanity, whatever it is you want to say down there in those comments below, I'll be sure to try to respond as best I can. Uh, and I hope you guys have enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one.